I should go on page 400. I should have gone to page 400. And we're live. Hey everyone, welcome back to another session of this. I would tell you what the start screen looks like, but I'm not actually on it myself. Let's fix that. Ah. So, we are still in this pyramid. Still trapped in what I believe everyone is aware of at this time as the past. I'm pretty sure I've announced it. I don't remember. Time freaking flies. What is time? Uh, so, the party has managed to progress through a decent portion of it this time um, with the blessing, effectively, that anything you find in this place that'll be of use, use it to try and stop Blackmore before it does unspeakable... Fuck, I never did that. <laughs> unspeakable things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, this is off to a it's great already, start. That's, let me see what I have. Let me see what I have. Um, I have... Uh, I, I have I have things that, I have things that I have things that don't work. I have, no, I don't. I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Just don't throw worry. a random shop in the middle I of the have, dungeon. I have a token I can use. I probably don't have a sheep, but I can I can. If we get that far, I can work with it. Anyway, anyway, we had progressed a decent portion of the way through. At this point, the party had found themselves after locating. What was it they located? Was it a Gemerald? I think it was a Gemerald. It was a gemerald. Located an emerald that was uh, one part of the place after being attacked by a number of interesting and fun and silly traps, including the uh, overthinking room. I love the overthinking room. We didn't overthink that at all, did we? No, I don't think you ever thought of it at all. Mm. Now, I'm going to move you back. You should be in this part of the pyramid, which is right by an elevator shaft, effectively, that goes straight up to the top. And I think I mentioned that I'm pretty sure that the, there's a field that's visible that's stopping the party from actually going up. Mm -hmm. If I didn't mention that and somebody tried, there's a field that's stopping you from going up. Um, I found effectively the mechanism to control the elevator, but it appears that some part of it is missing. It, they can't really figure out what the whole mechanism is itself, and it looks to be beyond needlessly complicated like it's all serving some kind of purpose in this one part missing is stopping it and the party is just unable to get it to work and it would take them like they'd have an easier time digging up to it than fixing it and both of those would take far too long uh, they found a broken uh, golem statue uh, it's made out of metal and other materials, and it's got a gaping hole around its chest, and it looks as though something was yanked out. And from there, I believe the party was just going to go off and do things. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, what the fuck was I going to do with that? The chat suggests we throw flasks of acid at the door. That's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, have we, have at least one per we have at least one person in the chat, I know this much. I think um, I think he was here last week, and I didn't have the chat open, so I apologize. But I have it open <laughs> this time. <laughs> I need to actually. Wait, that. we stream this. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so, where does the party wish to go now? Um, have, we haven't had a rest, have we? Oh, you know had a one. short rest, one encounter previous. Okay, so yeah, we don't need one right now. I rem I remember to the to the left we had room for the water. Yep, so yep. Someone's a big scaredy cat when it comes to water. What do you expect? The man in the desert to know how to swim? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone north, have we? You have not gone north. We yet. have not checked out the north. So I'm curious I, about like, north. I have a funny feeling we're going to be going to both places in the end. Potentially. But, uh, we know. did go north. We did go north. It was even more water. Like you went north off to the over east. to the east. You didn't yeah. go straight we, north. We went to the east. Like we have not been up that little passage there. Yeah. <clears throat> let's let's go up here. All right. Yeah, sure. Nobi well. and Clytus will both join you forward. So snake sword. Snake before sword. Before we started. Yes. Yeah. Before we get started, do you want to handle that? Shaky. Also, Colonel. Seriously? Yes, yes, I know. So, one thing we learned last time was that um, Val had not included his... He actually has expertise on tinkering. He did not have that included on the macro he had for his uh, weapon repair rules. So, I'm good. Okay, it's just like, turn, turn this, flip that, okay. 
I was being an idiot. I forgot to clean the gun. <laughs> So yeah, this gun really are not logic, broken. Some of the extra components pulled off of the uh, golem there was used to fix it. <clears throat> and with that, Jay, I this is yours. <laughs> You're giving me that weird, creepy I, thing that switches I, to a whip. I lug, I, I lug the sword. At her. <laughs> yep. Given, uh, so Shiki is giving Jade the snake sword. All right. I'm going to uh, switch it to a whip for now. You just okay. press that button there. And the water tendrils hold the blade together as you switch it over. All right, so progressing forward north then. Philia, do you mind leading the way? I'll lead the way. All right, and Philia, as you're going north, you can see that it appears to be a doorway on your left, a passageway to your right, and you should probably see the passageway all the way at the end. If you look off to your right, you do see that <clears throat> you can faintly see that water-filled room you saw previously. I'm going to take oh. a look real quick. If no one and I believe you can all still hear the, um, like, a, some creature, Jovial speaking, it's in a, what language is it? It's uh, Aquan. You pick Which, up the dialect, is primordial, and it's Aquan specifically. Which most of us can speak. Yeah. Yes. Clytus does not look like he really wants to go into the water. Yeah, nothing new here. <laughs> uh, let's Let's head on back. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think you really could make out what was being said last time this happened. Yeah. Unless Should I roll uh, a perception? perception? I'll allow an additional perception roll now. <clears throat> That's actually a bad roll for me. It's only a 17. Only a 17. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the two of you are able to more or less make out a bit of the details, and it appears to just be some kind of story. Like a very boisterous story. So someone's telling uh, drinking tales at the nearby tavern. Effectively, yes. All right. Does uh, Philia wish to open up this door? Obviously. She Obviously. Can probably move. All right. Well, so you want to create some places then? Yeah. Is someone gonna step forward? Three, two, one. Good. You open up the door. It opens up easily enough, and inside there is this sickeningly powerful stench. There appears to be some sort of decayed or dead matter in a few of the corners and yeah. elsewhere. And you can hear a large creature kind of just milling around inside the room, seeming like it's almost eating whatever's I would like in to this. stealth. Okay, let me get a sheet out. <laughs> <sighs> So, Jade's going to move forward a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let me... What is it? A passive, first of all. Uh, uh, passive is that. Nope. Well. And what did your stealth... They, uh... Yeah, Shiki, as you go... Oh, that one. You know, well... Yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't see you. As you tip around the corner, Shiki, you see... Directly to your, like, above you in this area here, you see a very large bird-like creature as it's just kind of like sifting through all this stuff, picking up a pile of this unsanitary gunk and just eating it. As you glance behind you, you see a second one down there, or down towards the bottom as well. So you, you mean Jade? Yeah, that's why I meant Jade. That's why I meant um, Jade. Thank you. Can I roll... Roll me another... Yeah, roll another stealth. Okay. Uh, before that, can I roll something for identifying what these are? Arcana. Okay. These are demons, you're fairly certain. And the style they are, it's a very distinct type of demon. This would be a Vrock. I'm demons, not, not sure. my specialty. What would you know with Vrocks from that detail? You would, if I open up to the right page. I'm pretty sure they can fly. Pretty sure they can fly. Also, here's my You know stealth. that they really just live like for pain and carnage. Kind of like a mixture of like a humanoid with vulture-like aspects, and they just love eating whatever they can, and they are very, very petty. <clears throat> so, Jade's going to motion for everyone to just slowly step back into the hallway. So she can uh, okay. divulge this information without danger of dying. Okay. Sure. So we can, we can just say we got we quickly popped back into the hallway. Yeah. So once everyone is safe, she's just gonna mention all of that stuff that you just said. 
is <clears> is <throat> stepping out as well. All right, are you closing the door? Yes. Okay. Let me, because it matters. So there are some demons there, um, and they are probably going to try to kill us. And uh, I don't know much about these ones. Demons are not my specialty, but they are vrocks that can fly, and I have a feeling that they're going to be very petty. So, so okay. At, at the mention of demons, I think Felia would open the door and try and charge one of them. All right, so Felia, <coughs> once uh, she, <laughs> once uh, Jade begins to explain that, you throw open the door and rush in to charge them, and you see that they're no longer in the same position. They've kind of moved forward to. Uh, oh, that just makes it easier. Like, like an argument amongst themselves. I will give you. Mm, roll a. Would be good for surprise. Stealth. Catch them off guard. Dex. Maybe initiative. Yeah, roll. A, yeah, roll. A... Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Roll initiative. a roll an initiative, and if you beat their initiative, then you'll get the surprise. <coughs> I will not beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but let's find out. NPC initiative. Yeah, you actually beat them. <laughs> yep, you did beat them, so you get a surprise attack on them. Uh, they yeah, let, um, those two rounds go out. Then we're all our initiatives. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give just Felia this. It'll be her surprise if she's just bum rushing in. Everyone else can roll a initiative now. Okay. Go there. I'm going to rage. Okay. Because of, because there's two of them, and I'm by myself because they're wimps. Yeah, because they're wimps. That's why you're by yourself. <laughs> and reckless wear up and master. All right. Holy shit, my roll. Man, uh, these barbarians. I don't know what it is about barbarians, but they are really bad at planning things. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> yep, that first attack misses. That second attack will hit, though, dealing a good chunk of damage. A good, good chunk of damage. Uh, as this frock just screeches in pain, alerting its uh, companions that there's obviously trouble here. All right, normal initiative now. Okay. Um, so I am going to cast Hunter's Mark on the nearest rock. Mm-hmm. So let me get a green dot here. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Thank you. All right. And uh, I am going to find the target. There we are. I am going to uh, use my whip. Uh, and then I'm going to use my Nene. -nay. I have advantage because uh, Wait, stuff. Wait, they have acted before you guys? No, because I just gave you a flat-out sneak attack round on that. Okay. Yeah, because they didn't ca see you in time, so I'm just saying they lost their sneak attack chance. So that actually then adds a quick question, sorry. Because uh, would they have had a technically a ended a turn in my aura? I'm going to say no. Okay. Because that's when damage from it would be dealt. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna say no in this case. <clears throat> All right. So then you ran forward. Uh, you're trying to attack with the snake whip. That will hit the closest one, and you would deal twelve damage. Um, hunter's mark. And that was with hunter's mark. And sneak, so fourteen. Oh yeah, sneak attack, so fourteen. Yes, fourteen damage total. And that's my turn. Yep. Next up is not Shiki. All right, so as this is going on, Jade, you hear the door behind you get basically kicked open. Quack. A different one steps out. This one looks a bit bigger, a bit more in charge, and his feathers are red. Oh, no, the red one. Why well, is the He red goes faster. Red. Yeah, he, he does go faster. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I thought red was three times faster. <laughs> Technically, it's more than three times faster because the other ones are initiative five. So he kind of just steps out looking none too pleased, and he goes over and tries to beak Jade, and he will hit Jade, I believe. Yes, he will hit Jade. Uh, shield. He will miss wait, Jade. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have shield? No, I don't. I Never don't mind. I think you do. Okay, so he will hit Jade for 12 piercing damage. Rats. <laughs> 
I already used my shield to, today. Yeah, and then he would try to rack. That ain't right. Nope. Uh, uh, I had eighty something. Would you like to try that again? <laughs> Crap. All <laughs> right. Number lock. You are fun. I am going to say I had eighty four before. I think it was higher, but. And they take 12 piercing damage yep. from the uh, beak, and then he tries to rake his claws across you. And this will also hit, and you will take 17 slashing damage. Awesome! Yep. Ouch. Shiki is up. Oh, I was right. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Alright, I see. Okay, I am doing a cool shot on the wings on the red one. Alright. <laughs> So uh, let me uh, just before I what you you can just go in and stab it if it gets prone. I know, I'm waiting. So <laughs> I was meant to take away that grit. Um, did it take the cold damage, Silver? Uh, yes, this one would have taken the cold damage. How much is it? Five. Uh, not the five, five cold. Oh, Brox are so it's only going to take two cold damage. Uh, that's it doesn't a, seem exceptionally effective. All right, and this is on um, that will hit the red one. He will yeah. take from sixteen and let's see he resists his fire. Yep. So he will take thirteen, and he the fire doesn't seem to be exceptionally effective against him. Doesn't doesn't seem to be. It it hurt him, but it doesn't seem to hurt him really good. Okay, then it's oh yeah, it was a trick shot. So it was on his. Was he wings? It he said wings. wings, so he has to make a strength save. The Vrox are decently strong. Not strong enough, though, as he falls to the ground prone. Guys, you know what to do. <laughs> Pig worry, pile on the red one! Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay, I am going to shoot the one next to Fluffy. Okay. So I really should probably take the snake sword out, my... And that one actually does look pretty wounded. Oh! <laughs> and Get it's going to look a lot more wounded after this. Get so it's back. going to take fourteen plus eight for twenty-two damage. Mm -hmm. It's going to take one bit of fire. Yes. It's not looking too good. See, I can see that one at the bottom. Do I want to do anything, Trixie? They're not carrying any kind of weapons or anything, it's claws? Just their claws. Okay, okay. Can you make them uh, drop their claws? <laughs> I, what, it, what it is, I shoot, the, I shoot the wool, it bounces off, and it just perfectly trims their nail. <laughs> for a moment, uh, they're happy for the manicure. How badly looking is that one I just shot? The one you just shot that Philia had attacked is pretty beaten up already. This thing was not expecting, like, Philia went in there and kind of wrecked it. It does it look like kind of last legs? It's, or... it's not quite last legs, it's got a bit more than that, but it's not doing well. Ask her, we'll make it, we'll make it violent. Alright, that will hit. Yeah, we'll hit. For uh, 14, uh, plus but... the one from Big Beat Fire. Charin might be nice. Yo, yeah, you sure you. Yeah. Don't worry, no. I'll, I'll take care of it. It's fine. Hopefully. Oh, forgot you got to do double, because it's. Mm. Yep. Okay. yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. You doubt me. Sorry, guys. Uh, yep, yep. yep, yep. Yeah. Wow. Bad damage. <laughs> it's still on its feet, but it ain't doing very well at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next up then would be unless Shiki has any movement. You done? Um, <clears throat> just give me a sec. If I, I am good where I am. No one closed the door for the moment. Okay. Jay's Sorry, just gonna yell out, "There's a red one!" <laughs> if Cladis is going to run in there, he's going to see the red one and he is going to begin stabbing it. It hurts. <laughs> in that one will hit crit for two-handed. And it does crit, yes, so that'll be 18 damage. And he will attack it again. And that one will hit for 12 damage. And I think he only has two attacks. He only Wait, has two attacks. his two-handed two rolls were actually higher than his one-handed <laughs> I once. know, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. 
What the hell is this? <laughs> and that'll be it for his turn. Nomi is up. Nomi, what the fuck wagon have you do, Nomi? It's almost like it's almost like gripping it with two hands makes it more sturdy. I'm just gonna have Nomi be the real simple one. I'm just gonna have her do a produce. No, she knows flame isn't is that effective. She's gonna pull out her bow. <laughs> what? She yes, bow. she has a bow. She has You've a had a bow, bow all this time, and you haven't told us. <laughs> She's gonna sh shoot with a bow, disadvantage, and not caring. She impales it through the neck, and it's gonna take twelve magical piercing damage. How does she have disadvantage? Oh. Yeah, right, she but... had disadvantage, but she rolled well enough. And Lisa, that'll you are... be it. Mez is having fun in the background. Yeah, you are echoing that again. That's going to be it for Nomi. I think she's going to take a step out of the way. Next up is Felia's turn again. Plot twist. Same thing as last time. I'm going to oh, wreck man. it. God damn it, Colonel. I think this one might be dead. If you hit it, it's dead. Let me tell you that much. I crit it. Yeah, yeah, you just overkilled it, the fucking back. It, like, you just... Oh my god, that crit bit. So you just did... 30... 40... 8... Damage. 51 damage. It's dead. It's dead, Jim. All it's also my token, here. so it's just moving off the map. <laughs> uh, that that sums up my reaction to the bow. <laughs> and that one will hit, obviously, and you will deal 20 damage, and only 20 damage. Only 20. Yep, Gassan is up. Only 20. I'm debating my best option here. And my tablet mess up. I will actually load up my sheet on my computer. Drink six hours. Don't question it. Uh, move air. For a whopping 15 move. Yep. No. This, this rock was pretty smart, but you have advantage anyway, even though you don't get flanking. Yeah. It's almost like it's on the floor wait, going mercy. Do you really want it to screech mercy? No. I mean, it can, but I don't think anyone here cares. No, I want it dead. <laughs> I want it dead. <laughs> Can I make an arcana roll for any possible vulnerabilities? They're like you they're, may. They're vulnerable they're to you killing it. Yeah, for future reference, it's here. It turns out sharp metal objects hurt a lot. <laughs> Especially if they're magical. Ah. <sighs> I right. hit it. No, oh, this lag is great. Lag great is always lag. fine. Oh no. I don't know why my computer's lagging this thing. There we go. Alright, so you know a bit more about rocks than uh, Jay did. And you know the rocks aren't inherently weak to anything. You do know that they, however, are resistant to fire, cold, lightning, and anything that isn't magical. They are completely immune to poison, though. Like, there's no point trying right. to use a poison blade on one. Alright, so we're just doing this real cool way. Yeah, most we'll demons do not one. have a vulnerability. If attack one, that one will hit for 13. Is it still alive? It is still alive. Attack two. Looks like it's <clears throat> That'll hit for 16 damage. How's it looking? Alive? It's like a still alive. Thing. It is still alive. God damn it. Da -da 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 -da. And that one will also hit for 14 slashing damage. It is still alive. You son of a bitch. <laughs> um. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, how's it, it looking? It doesn't look too good altogether. It's red wings. That's no longer the color of the feathers. That's blood. <laughs> to be fair. I don't know why it has red blood. I guess it's because it itself is red, because you saw the other Brock, like, bled black. But this one's bleeding red, and it is bloodied. It is very bloody. To be fair, it's got, it must have a massive hole in its wing from the initial shot. <laughs> like, like, there are feathers flying all over the place and everything else. 
do I action surge it? <laughs> is it worth it to you to action surge? Is it, is it worth? Is Don't it worth do it. Like, Save your action surge. Now. You'll probably ov overkill it. Well, I mean, I could always move to the next one. I don't think you can reach it. That's but... about 30 feet away. Yeah, yeah, I've got the movement. You moved already. I think it's 20 feet, which you would have that move. 25. 25, you're just out. Ah, save it! Out of reach. Oh. Save it! It's no point. I would say save it. Alright, so you done? Yeah, I'm done. Alright then. This rock ah. on its turn. It will take a few steps forward, and it will raise its vulture-like head to the ceiling and just unleash an ungodly screech. Alright, Nomi and Shiki are fine. Everyone else needs to roll <laughs> a constitution save. My my cowardice pays off. <laughs> hey, I was I, I was attempting to be a coward by hiding behind Philia, and it didn't work. So, cowardice does not always pay off, and I'm very upset about this. Oh my word! Everyone failed! <laughs> Every single one of you that oh heard no. this screech, your ear, your hands go to your ears. You are stunned for one turn. Stunned? Stunned? <laughs> yes. Well, that means incapacitate, right? Uh, I have to double look what the full status is for stunned. I don't think it's incapacitated, so you can't do anything. Right, that means I lose my Hunter's Mark? Um, yes, I believe. Let me see. Stunned. You're incapacitated, can't move, you can only speak faltering, you auto fail, strength and dex saves, and attacks against you have advantage. Stunned! <laughs> so you lose your Hunter's Mark. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, that'll be that rock's turn, and it's going to use the rest of its movement to get out of that field because. It doesn't like the cold, even though it doesn't hurt it that much. There you go, Shiki's in a, mo in a monologue. Yep. <laughs> Jade! You know what, Silver? You know what, Silver? I had some amazing plans for my turn here. They were really <laughs> great, but now you'll never hear them, okay? Now you're just hey, not going to hey, hear hey, about my it's awesome plans. It's not my fault! You did not roll well enough. <laughs> uh, that's that's uh, the Brock's turn. The Brock will spend, ha the red one will spend half of its movement standing back up. It is going to look at Yasana and Clytus. The two people kind of kind of took a good chunk out of it since it can't reach Shiki very well. I'm no longer and stunned. It is going, right? 